Welcome to Excel 2013 Statistical Analysis video number 10. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, this video is just going to be a quick one or two minute video about dot plot and stem and leaf. Now, in this class, we're not going to see how to create the dot plots. I have links up here if you want to learn how to do it. It's not required for this class, but we do need to understand what a dot plot means. Column 1, that sales reps calls for a given day. Sales rep 2 calls for a given day. And we want to compare these two in a visual way. So we set up categories. And the dots just mean oh, how many days sales rep 1 had between 15 and 19 calls. Now the nice thing about a dot plot is you can see the spread and distribution across this quantitative variable. And you can see the height, but you get the count. So it's 1, 2, 3. Down here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So sales rep 2 had four days where the sales rep had between 20 and 24 calls. If we were manually doing it, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's, there's the 4. But visually portraying it like this, really nice. Another thing that's convenient about dot plots, it's, it's a nice way to directly compare two or more, in our case, sales reps. Now let's go over and look at the stem and leaf. Now here's a stem and leaf. And it's showing you a kind of histogram on its side. But it also shows you the individual numbers. The actual identity of each value is in a stem and leaf. Here's sales rep 1. And the way a stem and leaf works is you break the numbers apart. We have just tens positions and ones positions. So we have our tens. And from that's the stem. And from the leaf, you can see there was a 15 and a 19. The stem for the 20s. There was a 23, 25, and 26. Here, 30, 30, 3, and 6. So the nice thing about a stem and leaf is that you get the spread and distribution across your categories, but you don't lose the individual identity of each number. So stem and leaf, there are some videos if you want to see how to create this and a dot plot. For this class, we just need to be aware and be able to read something like a dot plot or a stem and leaf. All right, we'll see you next video.